Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Dartmoor. It's a wild, open moorlands and deep river valleys and rich history and rare wildlife. Dartmoor is a unique place and... You know what, never mind. My name is Mr. Freeze 2244 and welcome to the monthly update roadmap, whatever you want to call it. Uh, I think they're calling it the Season of Greed now. Well, not the... Well, they're going to base every season of the DLC based on that, so... Like the season of lust, season of greed, season of um, gluttony, and all that kind of stuff. So they're not calling it the roadmap anymore, or seasonal update, or whatever. They're just calling it the season of greed for the moment. This is what the roadmap is going to look like for April, and it's a little bit disappointing. I kind of wanted a little bit extra for April. I'm just a, just a little bit interested. I'm a not interested. I'm a little bit uh, disappointed with the content that's came out. For April, well, not come out yet, it's scheduled. So let's have a look and delve into what to expect for the month of April. And as you can see, it's not that much really overall. They did release a blog along with this screenshot right here as well. So it says the season of greed has arrived with free content coming to Hitman 3 owners every week. Collect your coins, feed the frog, and kill the collector, which is the elusive target. Hitman 3 will be following a seasonal approach throughout 2021 to support the 7 Deadly Sins DLC, which is what I mentioned. Uh, if you are looking for the April roadmap, this is essentially it, just by a different name. Watch the Season of Greed trailer, which uh, we've already seen in previous videos. So it goes on to talk about the Season of uh, Greed DLC and all that kind of stuff. It also goes on to mention the first of all seasonal event of the Berlin Egg Hunt. The first seasonal event is free for all Hitman 3 owners and sees Agent 47 heading to Berlin, where the location has been transformed for the Berlin Egg Hunt, playable from March 30th to the March April 12th. So you've only got a few more days left of this uh, special escalation, seasonal escalation, before it gets removed and probably re-added the same time next year. So this new escalation brings a seasonal twist to the Berlin location with decorations and graffiti, a, a unique set of unique objectives, new gameplay items to collect and use, unique targets and an unlockable suit to add to your permanent inventory. And it is a decent escalation, so if you haven't played it already, I would highly recommend using that. I have a guide already for this, I'll leave a link to that in the description if you want to check that out. If you uh, don't care to play the contract yourself, you just want to check out that video just to see the highlights, go ahead and check that out if you want to. Next part, it moves on to talk about the featured contracts with two Angry Gamers and Achievement Hunter. So these are two big uh, YouTubers, I think. Uh, the season brings two batches of featured contracts are currently in the works of two Angry Gamers and Achievement Hunter with a focus on greed. You can expect three new contracts from each of them spread across different locations in the game. First up is our two Angry Gamers who are, might remember as the inspiration of the Hammer Time uh, challenge in the IC facility. I do remember. However, I remember the challenge being completely vague, apart from the fact that it's just called Hammer Time with a picture of a hammer. Turns out, if you live stream the beta of our game and hit almost everyone on the map with a hammer, we'll make a challenge about it. I didn't have the beta, so they couldn't make it about me. If you want to see their take on the featured contract, they'll be creating one live on stream later today. Head over to their Twitch channel to witness the live creation of one of the contracts with input from the chat. I'm not personally going to do that. Later in the month, featured contracts from Achievement Hunter are on the menu. Similar to, to the Angry Gamers, this crew has been integrated with the Hitman games in a pretty unique way. It turns out if you electrocute almost everyone in Paris location with an electrified puddle, we'll add some dialogue about it in the future location. Check out Achievement Hunter's take on the great inspired contracts later this season. I will do... I will do then, I will get to that. I will be covering them in the videos probably. The next part is the Jinzhen, uh, I'll probably pronounce that completely wrong, I'm so sorry. The Jinzhen incident escalation starts in the streets of Chongqing and descend into the facility to find your targets and exact your revenge. From what I saw in this brief trailer, I saw 47 holding a rusty sword. So, and he was wearing the, uh, the hobo disguise, the homeless person disguise. Hobo is probably not the correct word, I'm sorry about that, if it's offensive anyway. Probably not the politically correct word, huh? Politically correct? I'm trying to get our words out today. But yeah, a homeless person. We have to wear that uh, while using the rusty sword or something like that. That's what I saw in the trailer anyway. Next part is the collector elusive target and the politician elusive target. So Hitman 3's first elusive target arrived Dartmoor April 9th which is tomorrow, if you are watching it on April 8th, of course. The Collector will be in town for just 10 days, and you'll have an opp one opportunity to take them out 
Choose your actions carefully. There are no second chances. The countdown clock to their exact arrival time is ready live in the game. So if you boot up the game, you'll see on the main menus of the countdown to the elusive target. Of course, I will be doing guide for it. And I have uh, going to be doing three methods for that. You should be good to go with that video if you are in need of it. Also, I will, will be doing a stream of it probably about an hour after the, um, the elusive target goes live. So be prepared for that. Strap in and get re ready for some enjoyment. We can do something special on that. Maybe try and take out the target in some sort of special way. Come up with some ideas for me in the chat or in the comments, I should say. Let me know what I should do with that elusive target special-wise and call me in the live stream. It's been my first live stream of a, a brand new elusive target for many 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 months now i think it's been over a year actually so it should be quite a special one and then it goes on to say the season of greed brings in an elusive target from the hawks bay location the politician so you'd need the hitman to access pass for this i think or maybe not actually maybe you just need the i think it's free to actually download that so you might be able to play that for free i think even if you don't own Hitman 2. I'm not completely certain on that though, within Hitman 3. I'm not completely certain with that. Uh, it is currently a featured location in the Hitman 3 free starter pack. There we go. I should have just read the article first. Of course. Which means this elusive target is available for all Hitman 3 owners and a full free starter pack players. Study the briefing closely. Of course. So from what I'm going to remember about this elusive target is that she has a body double, I think. Um, yeah, I think that's what the, what the uh, the twist was. She has a body double. I don't know. I uh, sh should have probably should have uh, spoiled that, but uh, that's the special thing that you need to do. She has a body double, and you want to make sure you don't take out the wrong one. But yeah, that's coming. Uh, does it even say when it's coming? It is coming. Uh, where is it now? Yeah, April twenty third, and that'll be available until May the third. Okay, so the first set of featured contracts is coming April 15th as well by the two Angry Gamers. That's been covered across Dubai and uh, Dartmoor. And then the, ang the Achievement Hunter is going to be featured contracts from May the 6th. These are permanent, by the way. They're going to be staying in all, all times. And the Jinzhen uh, Incident Escalation is going to be coming out April 29th. And that is, that is a permanent uh, thing in there. I feel like I have to say this now because a lot of people say, is it going to be permanent in the game? Is it timed, uh, like time-gated? Uh, but the answer to the Escalation is not time gated. The feature contracts are never time gated, but the Berlin Hunt is you've got until April twelfth to get that done, and the politician is you've got until May the third uh, to get that done as well from April twenty third, and the collector that goes live tomorrow you will have until April nineteenth to get that done as well. So only the looser targets and that Berlin Egg Hunt is time gated for this month. But moving on, it says the game update Hitman Three's next major patch will arrive on May tenth to end the season of greed and start the next season of sin. The patch will prepare the game for all the new content arriving in that season as well as bring improvements, tweaks and fixes too. Hitman to coming to Hitman 3 owners during the uh, season of greed is all summarized at the end from March the 30th to, to May the 9th. First up, Act 1 Greed 7 Deadly Sins DLC. Berlin Egg Hunt, which is the seasonal event. Satu Mare Delirium Deluxe Escalation. The Collector Dartmoor Elusive Target, Two Angry Gamers, uh, which is the Dubai and Dartmoor Featured Contracts, The Politician for Hawks Bay Elusive Target, and Achievement Hunter, which is the Berlin, Chongqing and Mendoza Featured Contracts, are all coming in the month of April, all the way up to the 9th of May, I think it said. So, become the 9th of May, they'll probably have another season of Sin, and they will reveal what the month's going to have in store for us. I'm looking forward to the update, I'm looking forward to the new DLC. Hopefully every single DLC isn't just going to be an escalation. I don't think it would be. Especially with... Uh, I don't think it will be. Surely not. Surely not. Um, because I checked out, you know, the uh, the Season of Greed fe uh, escalation. And it was alright. It wasn't too bad. Uh, but personally, I, I think the Satu Mare Delirium is probably better. And that's the uh, Deluxe Escalation. But the only problem I have with the Satu Mare Delirium is that I wish that we could just roam around and have free roam of from level 2. It was like an open... Because they've made so many changes to the map. It's, it's the same thing with the Berlin Egg Hunt as well. If, I, if they just made that into a mission instead of an escalation, it had so much more replay value. Because as it is, level 2 is the best uh, part of that Satu Mare Delirium. And we can't just go back and replay that. We have to reset the entire escalation and go through level 1 which is a pain in the ass to actually get to level 2. Uh, but yeah, we want to just roam around in level 2 and have, you know, 
browse around all the map changes and stuff like that why couldn't that just be a little mini mission i don't know it could have been just like uh, all the mini missions that you had from before like the uh, the special assignments and stuff like that i just don't understand why we have to go down this route of escalation being the special thing this year i don't know i'm, I'm not uh, one of the developers i'm not a part of their marketing so i don't know what their ideas are but Apparently they want to really nail down and hammer down this uh, whole escalations being special thing this year. But personally speaking, I'd wish there was just mini missions, and I'm pretty sure a lot of people agree that with that as well. But overall, there are my thoughts. There are all the uh, stuff that's come out in the blog and stuff like that. I've read everything out for you. Um, hopefully you've enjoyed this video. Hopefully you've enjoyed the view from the background. If you if you don't like me just standing here staring at the beautiful Dartmoor, uh, obviously I'll change it next time and just put gameplay in the background if you if you prefer that. But I prefer the the whole uh, style of this, I think. I like it anyway. But yeah, I'll see you guys in the next video. So thank you very much for watching. Feel free to drop a like on the video if you liked it, <laughs> of course. Subscribe if you are new to the channel. And let me know your thoughts in the comment of all your opinions about this particular season of greed content uh, that's coming up for the month of April. Let me know your thoughts on the escalations, let me know your thoughts on the elusive targets, and let me know your thoughts on these YouTubers that got featured for the featured contracts this month, because I don't know anything about them, so let me know what they're like, because I hope I'm interested. I should have really done more research before. But yeah, thank you very much for watching, and uh, I really do appreciate it. Subscribe if you want to the channel, hit the bell notification to be notified of all future videos or live streams. Consider supporting me on Patreon or even becoming a member of the channel by clicking the join button below or clicking the link in the description. And I'll see you guys later on in a stream. Take it easy. Cheers.